and welcome to the long dark season two episode one this will be our second playthrough as we met an untimely demise due to diminishing physical health out in the cold due to starvation and a wolf attack so we're going to start over again we're going to stick with the voyager difficulty i'm not going to turn it down uh, but i'm definitely not going to turn it up yet so we're going to stay right at the mid-level difficulty and I'm going to choose Mystery Lake again. I've thought about trying one of the intermediate places, but again, I never really got my feet underneath me to try the more challenging areas. So I'd like to start in Mystery Lake again, where at least I have my bearings. I know a few places that I can go to get things, and then I can hopefully progress from there. Now, I do believe that after this playthrough, I will hopefully have the skill required to step up the difficulty or choose a more difficult zone. But for now, we're going to stick with Mystery Lake. This time, we're going to choose the male survivor, though. That is the uh, one thing we will change. Oh, season two. I'm not a fan of lowercase. There we go. Okay, season two. That'll work. And we're going to start it off. A mysterious geomagnetic storm has brought your plane crashing down into the northern Canadian wilderness. How long can you survive? I don't actually remember how many days I had survived in my last game. I suppose I could go watch the last video and find out. Um, but it was definitely less than a month. It was it was less than 30 by a long shot. I think I only made it to 18 or 19. Life is an error-making and error-correcting process, and nature, in marking man's papers, will grade him for wisdom as measured both by survival and I didn't get to read the rest of it fast enough. So, okay, so let's see. Where did we start? start what do we start with okay so we start with a lot of the good stuff we're feeling very good i'm not going to make the mistake of running right off the bat dave's quiet clearing mm. i spent a lot of time running on my first playthrough in the first couple of days and i suffered for it dramatically firewood that's good frozen corpse i'm so sorry you must be dave Grape soda, hunting knife. That is important. Okay. That way, if I find a carcass, I can skin it right off the bat and get some gut curing. So now I still don't know where I'm at. This place is an undiscovered place here in Mystery Lake that I had never found before, Dave's Clearing. So I'm kind of glad that I stuck with the familiar zone because obviously there are still enough locations here to keep it interesting and that is nothing I can pick up that's deceptive Ooh, easy down the hill easy easy okay uh, already I've learned enough lessons to know that you can't just go running down the hill in the snow you will sprain your ankle or worse and it looks like this valley is really just going to guide me in this direction so for now my plan is my priority is to prioritize uh getting my bearings I need to find a location that's familiar to me that I've seen so that I can start to orient myself. Right now, I don't know where the train tracks are. I don't know where the trapper's cabin is. I don't even know which way the lake goes. Oh, so we got a fork in the road here. Let's go this way. This way looks a little more familiar. Now, it could just be that there's not an iota of anything familiar here, and I'm just losing my, my bearings, but I don't know. It looked familiar from a distance. Now it doesn't necessarily anymore. Oh, but here, it looks like we're coming to a clearing down the way. And we've got some more salvage. Oh, a rifle. Right off use the this. bat. Yes, we can use that. And a cartridge. Oh, starting out rich. Antibiotics. Never turn those down. Rest in peace, good sir. Rest in peace. Okay, so we're starting to get hungry and cold. Kind of expected. Probably want to start looking for sticks to gather. I need to get out of this valley and into a wooded area. Also, so I can be looking for saplings. As I learned in my last game, having cured gut and uh, cured saplings early on are going to be very handy. The Lake Trail. Another place I've not discovered before, I don't believe. We'll see if I start to run into anything that looks familiar. Branches, yes, we'll just break them down by hand and get some sticks. Easy fuel, 
takes very little time to harvest. So let's see, it feels like minus seven C. It's trending colder. Oh, what have we here? Oh, what is, uh, what is this? Oh, this is the lake. Oh my. So that, I feel like I've explored that in the last game and I, oh, there's, see, there's still so much to this area for me to find. Let's, before we go in there, Let's see how much of this map remains the same. In my first playthrough, there was a deer carcass right over here by the derailed train carriage, uh, carts, cars, train cars. And I'm going to check there and see if it's still there. Because if I can skin a deer on day one and get some gut curing, I'm going to be in a good way. I do have the rifle. Let's see here. No, I need to put the bullet in it, right? Actions. Clean. No. Okay, so we have the rifle. I don't think I'm going to need it. I only have the one round. Um, but I'm not going to mess around with, uh, with wolves this time. I'm going to make sure I have something to take care of that. Two hours of daylight left. Um, you know what? Actually, let's uh, let's go back. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make a lot of the same mistakes I made last game. Ooh, look at that sunset. Now, when it's starting to get dark and I'm starting to get cold, I'm just gonna call it. I think it's better that I waste a little bit of daylight inside where it's safe than to take another chance of going out at night. Or, or being out at night and getting... I don't think I would get lost with the railroad tracks, but even still. I'm going to play a little more conservative this time. I think this game is made to be played that... Oh, I don't have a hatchet. Mm, yep, yep, yep. I think this game is made to be played conservative. It's very challenging, and I don't think I gave it its fair due in the last playthrough. I think I took a lot of things for granted. Um, there is no reason that I should have been out messing with... Uh, with wolves when I was starving. I should have stuck to finding food, and I didn't. So enough of that. Uh, orange soda. This place had some good stuff last time. I don't know if it's going to have all the same stuff. Newsprint. Reclaimed wood. Where are we at with things? So we're a little cold, but we're warming up. Storm lantern. Lantern fuel. That's good. That's good. Okay, nothing down there. There's the workbench. Here we go. First aid. Sewing kit. Oh, that's so good. So, so good. A drawer here. Cardboard matches. Never turn those down. A hook. A whetstone. Some line. Okay. Oh, look at that. Some more fuel. Don't I already start with one of those? Oh, I think it just combined their, uh... Did it? I felt like I started with a, with a jerry can. I don't know. Nothing in the filing cabinet. That's quite all right. Tin of coffee. The can opener. Always important. So it looks like some of this stuff is the same as was here last time, and some of it is not. Problem is, we're not very tired, and it's it's oh, it's still cold in here. I'm still losing temperature in here, so the shelter is not providing me as much warmth as I would like it to. A worn expedition parka. That seems like that could be handy. And what do we have over here? An extra bedroll. Painkillers, a book, newsprint. Break it down. Sure, let's break it down. 15 minutes, I can afford to do that. You too, we'll break you down too. It's starting to get dark and cold. 
I think we're going to spend a little bit of time starting our first fire and melting some water. I have some, some food that I can eat. Um, yeah, we're going to start with the one book that we have. Oh, I could use accelerant. No. Kerosene. Good night. No, we're not going to use up the precious kerosene. Are you kidding? We'll use up the newsprint and the book for our first fire. We're going to need the warmth. We're going to need the light. We're going to need the water. So let's go. First fire of the game. Sounds like it's getting pretty bad out there, so we won't be doing any nighttime excursions. But I'm going to try to do some of the work I need to do during the night, such as, you know, melting the snow. Oh, work. that didn't work. Oh, no. Okay, well, it didn't use my, my book, at least, but it did use one of my tinder. That's okay. That's okay. I can make more tinder easily out of sticks. So we'll try again. 75% chance. Odds are it's going to succeed the second time. But you never know. We'll see. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. We need the warmth. It's pretty cold. Pretty cold. Even inside, it's pretty cold in here. That didn't work. 75% chance of success again. Please, can we do it this time? I'm going to have to make some... I'm going to have to go out and get sticks for Tinder if this fails. And then I'm going to be wishing I used my accelerant. Yeah, if this fails, I'm going to have to use the accelerant on the next one. I can't afford to mess around with this first fire. This is crucial. Come on. Oh, it's so close. So close. Excellent. That's done. Now for fuel, some firewood. And let's see how that does. Okay, so we're warming up. Let's melt some snow. Still staying warm, that's good. Now we'll boil the water. Ten hours of darkness left. Well, I'm not very tired, so I'm not going to require that much sleep to get fully rested. But I am still cold. Alright. Oh, so that was the only water I had. I felt like last time they started me with water, or perhaps I found some. Maybe your starting goods are random. Anyways, let's drink some soda. We get a little bit of calories at the same time. And we're going to put in some more firewood. And melt a lot more snow. I want to have a lot of water. I liked not having to worry about water. It helped me focus on the other things a lot more. And I don't ever want to get in a situation where I'm hurting for water and I have to hurry and melt some to be able to drink. It's never going to be a good situation. See if I have anything to cook. I can cook some peaches. That will hydrate me as well as feed me. Let's do that. Some nice warm can of peaches. Yum. That's another thing I'm going to do less of in this game than my last, is I'm not going to hoard things. Uh, I have a tendency to do that, and there was no reason, uh, no reason to starve when you have an MRE in your bag. So we're not going to be hoarding stuff nearly as much. I'm going to try to be conservative and resourceful. But if we're hungry, we're going to eat. And if we have food, we're just not even going to think twice about it. We're going to eat. I don't know if I need two bedrolls. But we'll see. Warren Expedition Parka. Very good. Very good indeed. Now what did that replace? Oh, that replaced nothing. Okay. Oh, that's... That explains it. So that was why I was cold in here without the fire, even though in the, in the past I wasn't that cold once I was indoors, is because of my clothing. So now that I have the jacket on, I should be a lot better. All right, we're going to use up the last of this fire, making even more water. 
and then boiling it right to the end of the fire. Then we're going to go upstairs and we're going to sleep the rest of this darkness away. Provided I can see to get to the bed. Oh, it's so dark. Oh my goodness. I need a flashlight. Let me see. There's the window, so that means the bed is, there it is, right there. Rest, eight hours of darkness, eight hours of rest. Sounds good to me. I'm just going to try to manage everything. I'm going to try to keep my condition up. There we go. Fully rested. A little thirsty. Excellent. And then some food. Let's get some of these granola bars. And another granola bar. And some water. Excellent. Everything is doing really, really well. Except it's still really dark out. So we're going to rest for, uh, we're going to pass an hour, I think. I don't really have anything I can do in the dark. So we're just going to, oh, three hours of darkness left. How did I misread that? Oh, because I'm fully rested. Ah. <sighs> I'm not going outside at night. Nope, we're just going to pass time. What a waste, though. It feels like such a waste. Can I rest now, maybe? This is no good. Two hours of rest. Come on, can I have some daylight? Okay, well, all we did was waste time and, and precious calories. Let's see if we can make our way to the... Okay, I'm not messing around with this. Where's my... There it is. Light, please. Thank you. Okay. Oof, we can see. Let's see what we're doing. I'll put this out just as soon as I'm done with it. An energy bar. Very good. Sardines. Can't go wrong. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go outside because we have uh, one hour of darkness left. Um... Let's put the lamp away, step outside, see what it's like outside. It's going to be daytime soon. Uh, I don't want to waste any more time next to the bed. Just digesting food. I can't, I don't even have a book to read or... I wonder if this moonlight is enough for me to craft some tinder plugs. Excellent. But it is another night. But it is incredibly cold. Oh, it is so cold. Okay. All right, all right. Well, we're gonna need some more sticks. Until we get a hatchet, that's it's gonna be about all we can do for the fuel. Good night, look at that temperature drop. Buddy, it is cold. So the sun will be coming up soon. Uh, I know, I know, it's getting cold. We're going to gather maybe a... F um, no, I feel like we need to go warm. Well, no, 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 no. I need to... Mm, decisions, decisions. It is incredibly cold out. Minus 22C is what it feels like. But I can't help it. I need to go out and do some stuff. I can't just sit in the house. If I had things I could read, things I could craft, it might be worth it. We're going to burn some of our energy and our calories here to expedite down these tracks. Check for this deer. Because if I get some deer meat, I can spend my time cooking that and warming up at the same time. And then hopefully the weather will change and become a little more... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Be a little more tolerable. A little more accommodating to exploration. Alright, so I'm not sure if these are going to spawn the same as they did last time. I don't think there's anything I can do here with the handle. No, there is not. Nor is there anything I can do with this tree. 
So let's I can't look. Feel my hands. Uh, I know, I know, it's getting cold. Okay, so the deer carcass is here. That's good. So it appears some things are are the same in the way they spawned, and some things change. Sounds about right. Worn ski gloves. How are those? They're about the same as the other ones I have. Okay. A flare. I have a couple of these for emergencies. First aid. Another sewing kit. Oh, that's so good. Ravaged deer carcass. I want it all. Let's do it. Yep, we're freezing. At risk for hypothermia. Conditions deteriorating. It's, it's, it's all bad. It's all bad. So, how much time do we have? We're at 61 per percent on the hypothermia so we are going to go back it is just getting colder as the wind is picking up Let's see if i can get some of this oof wind block here yeah i need to not be out in this in this wind so we're just going to run back get inside start a fire cook our deer meat warm up oh i don't 10 minutes let's do it just hurry. Oh, it's getting colder and colder. What a horrible day for the second day. It's limiting my ability of what I can do here out, out in the uh, daylight. It's okay. We're going to run back. We're going to get inside before hypothermia sets in. I've made myself good and tired by running, though. But I feel like that was necessary. The question becomes, do I go to the trapper's cabin, or do I try to rummage through all these fishing shacks first while I'm here? The quick answer, I feel like I should scavenge these fishing huts while I'm here, show up at the hunter's cabin with as many supplies as I can, but at the same time, I'd like to find some new places. Oof. And we are warming up ever so slowly. Let's increase the rate at which we're warming up here. No good night. Only a 95% chance with the accelerant. Good night. Okay, let's do it. So we've used up our accelerant. We've used up all our sticks, but we have a fire, and we can cook some gamey venison. All right, warming up. Still tired, but that's fine. We'll take a little nap, we'll drink some water, we'll warm up. We'll get good and rested, and we'll uh, use the second half of this day. Oh, uh, look at all the sewing kits. I love it. 597 calories, that's a thing. We're going to eat that. 800 calories, that's a thing too. We are going to top off. And some water, no, there's no reason to not drink the water. All right, so then here's what we're going to do while we're here is we're going to drop this and we're going to drop this and let these start curing. We're not going to leave them here, but they can get some progress on curing uh, before we leave. Now the question is, how much am I going to need to sleep Oops, to get my fatigue level back up? Let's try a four-hour nap. That's not too bad. We need to keep our condition high. That, that condition really snuck up on me. Um, no. Survived for 20 hours. Okay. So let's see, we've got seven hours of daylight left and we're two thirds rested. No, I think we're gonna, hello. Did I see something under there? I did. Oh, it's a magnifying lens, yeah. I think we're gonna rest for five hours of daylight. We'll do two hours. Priority one, find a hatchet. That's where we're at with everything. Condition is 89%. I think I need to drink a little bit of water to get that to climb up there. 
Very good. Very good. Hopefully, uh, this will be a good test to see if my condition can go up while I'm outside. Because what how Yeah, because I don't know if if all of my needs are taken care of, my condition should improve even if I'm outside. I don't know if that's the case, but I'm going to keep an eye on it this time and figure it out. So we're going to go check the fishing huts and all the cabins down this way before we leave. And hopefully find a hatchet somewhere. So condition is staying steady at 89. That tells me, I believe, that it is not possible to have your condition... Oh, no, nope, there it goes. 90%. So it might just depend on the temperature. But we're going to keep that condition as high as possible. Let's see what these sheds have for me this time. If I can get a hatchet... I'll be in business. But as it stands now, any fire I make is going to require sticks. Oh, and firewood, which I don't have. Mm, yeah, I need a hatchet. Bad. I'm going to be on a stick gathering mission. Let's start out with a hunting knife. I suppose you can't get it all. And a rifle, but a rifle won't. Hello! 82%. Oh, and it's in good condition. A rifle bullet! Very nice. Very nice. Pays to look at all the nooks and crannies. Oh, a little hat. With a, with a puffball on top. Very important. There's line. We're not going to fish just yet. A water bottle? Sure. Um, so let's, real fast... A worn toque. Knitted wool cap, Canadian style. It's warmer than whatever I had on. That's all that matters for me. I don't see any limbs laying down to harvest, which makes sense. Kind of in the middle of the lake. Oh, it looks like there might be some some wood on the top of that hill. Let's let's check here first. Oh, sir. It appears that the uh, the animals got to you. The Frozen Angler, an instructional manual an instructional manual on ice fishing. Researching this will improve your ice fishing skill. <gasps> That's really good. That's what I'm talking about. We can get our ice fishing on. Maybe, maybe we'll stay here for a little bit. I know, I, I know for sure I want to clean these places out before I leave. Ooh, candy bar. How are we doing? We're still in really good shape with four hours of daylight left. I'm going to... Those are all deer. I'm going to deviate up here, see if I can get some firewood. Oh, yes, there's some. Wait, what? Cattail plant? The cattail's head can be used as tinder. Its stock is tough but not very filling, but edible. How did I miss these last time? And I can use their... Ah, oh, this is a... See, this is not a bad place to hang out here at this lake. Oh, let me up the hill. It's too steep. Too much snow and too steep. I can't get up the hill. Come on, come on. I'm going to sprain my friggin' wrist trying to get up this hill. Okay, all right. Nope, over here. I want the good, I want the good limb. Yes, the cedar limb, please. Come on. 45 minutes, that's what we want. Some real firewood. All right. Go on, not that way. Over here, we'll get some more sticks. I don't know if it's... Oof, easy. I don't know if it's worth using my hatchet to break down the branch that just turns into sticks, because it seems like to me like it takes the same amount of time no matter what. And if it takes the same amount of time, I don't want to wear down my... I don't want to wear down my... Uh, my hatchet unnecessarily on things I can break down by hand. Oh, a feather. Yes. That's important. 
Okay, we're doing good. We don't have to breathe so heavy. We're doing okay still. Oh, jerky. It's chum for wolves. Ah, uh, there's another ice fishing hut. Three hours of daylight left. Still doing really good. Condition is climbing slowly. No reason to really be afraid yet. I'm probably gonna... <gasps> A bear! I wonder how much a bear would feed me. I have two rounds. Ugh. I don't think I'm ready for this. No, we're going to leave the bear alone for now. It's a little early. Sewing kits. Oh my goodness at the sewing kits. Tin of sardines. Soda. Candy bar. I want it all. I just want it all. A hook. Flare. Boy, they're giving me a lot of stuff to fish with. Fish with. I'm going to have to read that book and get to it. That'll be good times. Oh, hello. What are you? Oh, Tinder plug. Okay. Got to make sure I creep under, creep and look under stuff. Okay, so that bear is effectively going to zone us out from going that direction. I don't intend on going anywhere near that. I'm not messing with him. I need to play a little more conservatively. Um, so this time it appears these huts are the ones that are wrecked. Unless I've effectively lost my bearings again. No cattails here? No cattails? But there is a big branch, so let's go get and take care of that. Oh, here, I want to check this real fast. So when I go to the branch, the hatchet will take five minutes, by hand will take ten. So it still takes longer, I just, I still don't know if it's worth it. Because I have to have a hatchet to break this down. Alright, so we're starting to get cold. And we're heavy. How are we heavy? Oh, it's a lot of Might firewood. Drop some gear. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Make sure the bear didn't get any closer while we were doing that. All right. And as it's getting dark, I am going to head inside. Any extra daylight I have, I'm going to spend reading my fishing book. I am going to do my best to not be caught outside at night. That, uh, that does, does me no good. Wonder if there's anything. No, that's that's a whole lot of nothing. Mm -hmm. Let's see. What do we have over here? Can't feel my feet. It, it's gonna be okay. We're gonna go inside in just a second. Backpack empty. Mm, okay. Firewood. Another hatchet. Firewood. Firewood. We're already kind of overburdened, carrying all this firewood around. Well, we're going to burn some. If not tonight, then tomorrow. Mm, I could go... No. No, no, no. Nothing crazy like that tonight. We're going to go inside. We're going to read our book. We're going to warm up. Drink some water. Eat some snacks. And crash. That's what we're going to do. Okay, so first let's see what we got here. We've got some orange soda. Always delicious. A fire log, a couple oh, fire logs. Slowing me down. Yeah, I know it is. No, we're not going to break that apart. Mm, sometimes there's stuff underneath the crates, though, when you break them apart. I want to read my book, though. Let me make sure I got everything that's readily available. Okay, looks like I did. So, let's verify we're warming up. We are warming up slightly. Let's get our let's get our read on books. Check them out, right? So we are going to do two hours of reading. That's how we're going to spend the last bit of daylight. Too dark to read, so I got one hour in, and then it became too dark for me to read. That's fine. My bed is right here. We're going to drink some water. Thirsty, dry mouth, slaked. That's what I like to see. 
And we're a little hungry. Mm, I should have drank a soda, actually. Could have got a few calories. We'll, we'll all remember that for next time. Energy in a bar. 500 calories. Let's do that. Okay. 10 hours of darkness. Oh, but I'm not that tired. Proof lantern, actions, repair, refuel. I could use the lantern to keep reading. That's what I'm thinking. Let's see. I'm not sure how much of this will get used, but. Let's find out. I'm going to read for one hour. It was at 0.53 liters. Let's measure its consumption. One hour. Not bad. Um, and what do we got? So, oh my goodness. So it used 0.25 liters for that one hour. Don't I don't I don't want to use it all up right now. Let's eat some little fish in a can. And drink a no, we'll drink a soda when we wake up. Alright, nine hours of darkness. Let's sleep for nine hours. That'll work. Probably wake up fully rested, I'm hoping, unless we wake up super dehydrated or... Oof. Nope. Fully rested. Really thirsty and hungry. Okay, so we'll start with some orange soda. Okay. I have some food. Ooh! Not very filling, but edible. It's like free food. Let's munch on these cattail stalks. Mmm. Crunchy. You can hear the crunch. Oh, and these don't really go bad either. See, that's... That's going to be valuable. Can be used as tinder. Yeah, that's going to be really valuable. So we have jerky. We have some chocolate bars. Let's go ahead and eat our this chocolate bar. And then we'll drink some of our water. And we should be in really good shape. Two hours of darkness left. <sighs> I don't want to... Just wasting time is what I'm doing. So this is what we're going to do. Nope, nope, nope. Wrong buttons, wrong buttons. Actions, we're going to refuel it. Not bad. Not bad at all. And now we're going to light it and place it. And we're going to read for two more hours. Yep, we're going to read for two hours. That should take us into the daylight. now I don't need this anymore so we'll put it away 13 hours of daylight so this is technically daylight let's see if they'll let me read the final hour of the book oh they will it's bright enough I guess we'll let it get a little brighter wonderful the frozen angler research already completed so we might just jump into some ice fishing on the next episode but I'm afraid that's where we're gonna wrap this up there we go. Novice Ice Fisher. Yeah, we're going to try that out. We're going to try that out and see how that works. Mm, I'm not going to reclaim these crates yet. Yeah, I think that's where we're going to end it. I'm in really good shape. Or no, we're going to drink water. 
I'm gonna try to end it on uh, on a high note with everything taken care of. Warm, rested, slaked. Oh, peckish. How about some little fish in a can? Full. There we go. Warm, rested, slaked, and full. And that's how we're going to go out on Season 2, Episode 1. Uh, I hope you had fun, because I know I did. So take care, and hopefully we'll see you next time.